Hey guys, it's Bookish Vegan here, or Natalia, and welcome to another weekly reading vlog. So I've been up since like 5am, I went for a walk, and then I filmed like three videos, and I'm literally dying. Today's like 28 degrees, and tomorrow it's supposed to be a little bit chillier. I think it said 27 degrees, so only one degree chillier, and oh, that scares me, because tomorrow in the evening, there's a Tommy Eddie Emmy signing that I'm going to in Birmingham, so I'm gonna melt there, but I'm gonna try and find like a good outfit that won't make me sweat too much but I thought I'll share with you what I'm planning on reading this week so after the booktubeathon I'm just gonna chill out especially this month because I will have some other things I'm gonna be trying to accomplish this month and yeah it's around I think yeah it's just gone past five and I really wanted to do yoga because I'm really in the mood for yoga right now but it's so hot literally I just turned off my fan and I'm already sweating it's just so annoying but the book that I am going to be reading or should I say rereading is To All the Boys I've Loved Before by Jenny Han so I'm actually reading this edition and I am also highlighting and so far I'm 101 pages in I started it yesterday after I wrapped up my booktubeathon vlog and wrap up and I'm really enjoying it it's not like mind-blowing or amazing or how I feel about like new adult books right now now but it's really cute and sweet and I'm flying through it so I think I'm gonna sit and read for the next hour or two and try and get through more of it maybe to chapter 40. I'm already on chapter 20 and yeah we'll see how I still feel about everything but Lara Jean is kind of immature towards Kitty. I feel like Kitty is more mature than Lara Jean which there's a big age gap between them and Lara Jean is the middle sister and yeah I don't know I just Lara Jean, so far I relate to her, but she is a bit annoying. I feel so bad saying that because I love her, but yeah. I'm already at the part where her, she finds out her letters have been sent out and it's just so funny because we know who did it and I kind of like now when I look back at it it's really obvious who did it but yeah I'm this far in and I don't know what else I'm going to be picking up this week I think I'm just gonna try and get through this one and then pick up whatever I'm in the mood for I feel like I do want to get to a Game of Thrones though or the Tower of the Swallow which are two fantasy books that are very dense so they are gonna take me a while but I'm really excited about them literally my lip is always sweaty it's so annoying <laughs> Ugh, it's getting hot again so i'm gonna go turn on my fan and read so guys it is tuesday and sorry for the mess that is me literally i have to leave the house around 4 p.m 5 p.m today because i'm going to a tommy eddie emmy signing so i'm super excited about that but it's so hot today it's one of the hottest days once more and i think i'm gonna have to wash my hair but it's just gone past 11 and i finished my first book of this week so i'm super happy because it's only tuesday and it is to All the Boys I've Loved Before by Jenny Han. So I guess you probably already knew because I said I was reading it and I absolutely loved my reread of this. I gave it five out of five stars. Still have to write a review. And what I love about rereading, I will be doing a video all about rereading, like why I love it, why you should do it too. I have so many videos I wanna do, but it's just like, there's not enough time. There's not enough time for reading or filming and planning videos. It's so annoying. But anyway, what I've noticed with my reread is that I did pick up on the things that might make the story not enjoyable to other people. Like sometimes I had some problems with like Peter and Josh. I really don't like his character. I forgot how flippin' annoying he is. And I don't know. There's just like so many things that I disagreed with, but at the same time, I still loved it. It's so cute and I cannot wait for the movie. But I I've already kind of like re remember the trailer because I've watched it so many times and I can already see the little changes they made. For instance, when Lara Jean's dad drops her off for the ski trip, he does something different in the trailer than he does in the book. And we'll see how that plays out. I'm still super excited about the movie. I think this story would play out really well on the screen and I can't believe 10 more days. Yeah, because it's the 7th and it comes out on the 17th. That day, I cannot wait for it because Ariana Grande is releasing 
her new album on that day. It's just gonna be such a great... What day is it? Thursday or Friday? I don't even know, but it will be a great day. So I am super excited I picked this up. It took me like two days. I probably could have read it in one day, but I have a bedtime I need to stick to because I'm trying to establish good sleeping routine that's the same every night. But yeah, this copy I ended up annotating and I'm waiting for my sticky tabs because I mentioned in my last reading vlog, Booktube of One One, that I ran out. I think I mentioned in that one. I remember mentioning it somewhere but I just don't know when. So yeah, but I have so much to do now with this one. I have three book reviews I still need to write and post and I have to finish editing my July wrap up. I really just, all I need to do is rewatch it and then export it and upload it and that's it. I don't want to do that. I don't want to write the reviews as well. All I want to do is read. So I thought I would share with you what I think I might pick up next. It's another reread or I might pick up a non-fiction. So it's between A Game of Thrones by George R. R. Martin. This will be a reread for me. If you didn't know, I read this back in 2016, I think. Well, this book I actually read in 2015, but I read majority of the series in 2016, which is crazy because the books are huge. And that year, I didn't listen to any audiobooks because I wasn't into them back then. And I read 100 books. So I read quite huge books in the year that I read the most books I've ever read in my life. So yes. I'm super excited about this one because this one is, I think, one of my faves. I have top three of this series, like the books that are in my top three, but I think it's between, like, my favourite favourite, it's between this one or A Storm of Swords to Blood and Gold because I have where the third and fifth book are split into parts and I absolutely love part two and that's actually the part I was super scared about reading because I knew what was going to happen because of the TV show, but it was still amazing. So I know this is is a huge book but as I have like the whole month to read it I think starting it early and not finishing it this week I don't really mind if I don't finish it but just getting through a little bit of it will put me in a good mood because I'm just flying through my TBR. I've been sticking to it, which I'm really happy about because I read like half of my TBR last month. So I don't even know why I make TBR videos, but I think they're just fun. And I make like a special TBR shelf in my bullet journal and then I can color in the books I've read. So yeah, I'm super excited about this. I'm still re-watching season one. It's just not like super like, ugh, but it's just like, I don't know. I'm too scared to get to the part that's gonna break me. So the last episode but as I'm rereading this I can use my Game of Thrones bookmark that I got I'll leave the link to the bookshop that I got it from down below but I love it got a little paw and I think it's ghosts it's so cute <laughs> Like, look at that. Woo! <laughs> and yeah, I'm super excited about the multiple perspectives because this book has so many perspectives. I love it for that because I love reading multiple perspectives. But then the other book I think I might pick up, it's one of the shortest books on my TBR and it's Intuitive Eating. I feel like it would be perfect for me to read right now because I got headspace because when I was updating my information on Spotify because I was having trouble with like paying my monthly subscription because something like popped up or something. Thing, I don't know. And then I checked out and I paid like $4.99 a month for it because that's the student price. But then I saw that you could choose another option that's also $4.99 but you get Headspace which is this meditating app and I wanted to meditate like 10 minutes a day every day this year but I, I did really well like till April where I started to kind of fall off meditating. So I decided to use that and I'm doing the mindful eating course. I don't know what it's called so I feel like intuitive eating this would be a perfect time to read it i'm already on day five i'm loving meditation so i might pick it up i don't know we'll see what i read but gosh so hot can't can't deal with it but i already did 11k steps i went for a walk again this morning so yay i'm gonna try and edit that video because it really needs to be done today because i have two more where i need to edit and then also this vlog i haven't started editing yet and i love editing it as the days go so if i read anything i'll update you later and I might try and film a little bit of the Tommy Adiemi signing, but we will see. Yeah, I need to wash my hair, so let's go do that first. This heat, I want autumn right now. I'm late here late, and I got to page six, and I was like, all I want to do is read this. And then I had them sign it, and I'm, I'm like kind of a weird, you know, when you're the middle child, you're like, if I don't hold on to this, someone will take it. Um, but I don't think that's going to happen, so I'm going to hand this to Fee. Uh, um, 
Because it's like you have these dreams and you have ambitions and a lot of times people Guys, it's been a while since I last vlogged. Well, so not like a while while I did film like clips, just like normal clips throughout the last couple days. So it's been since Tuesday and it's Friday today. And yeah, I filmed some like clips that I can just insert, but sorry about that. It's just that on Tuesday I came home really late, so I just like eat dinner and crashed. And then on Wednesday, what did I do on Wednesday? I did loads of editing and I tried writing reviews but I still have two out of the three to do so that's good well not good but oh well and then on Thursday so yesterday I ended up going to town for the whole day because I went to meet up with one of my good friends she's like one of my favorite people to hang out with because she doesn't like deplete my energy levels because with some people I can hang out with them but it's just I can't do it for the whole day I just I have this urge like go home Natalia but with her I could have sat there till midnight basically but yeah and we also went to the cinema to see Mamma Mia here we go again and oh my god that movie was amazing it's one of my favorite movies I've ever seen it wasn't I don't think as good as the first one I don't no, but it was amazing the songs i've been listening to the soundtrack every chance i get and it was such a good story and i cried at the end actually it was like one of those crying moments where you just sit there and tears flow but you're not making any sound crazy but lily james did an amazing job of playing donna when she was younger and oh my god young bill he's my dream guy i fell in love with him like his blue eyes angel eyes bless you but yeah so here is the children of blood and bone and here is what it looks like signed so she wrote for queen natalia tommy adiemi she was the sweetest person ever as you saw from the clips she has just such a soothing voice that i could listen to her all day and i was kind of sad that the talk was only like an hour long because i could have just sat there forever and then i got to talk to her a little bit when she was signing my book she was like the sweetest because i'm only like 14 pages in i just told her i really liked how she got into the action at the beginning because it basically you just fall into this world and she was like it's because i have a short attention span and i i don't like like those books that take forever to get into because she gets bored easily and i'm like same sometimes with books i don't get bored because like even though there's no action happening all the information's really interesting but with this one i am so far enjoying what i've read and i cannot wait to pick it up now that i've met the author she's amazing so i will probably be picking this up maybe in september we'll see what i'm in the mood for but i'm so glad i went and what else can i talk about oh yes the book i am currently reading i don't remember if i mentioned which is weird because i finished editing all the clips i've already done for this week today but today's been a weird day i took a nap and i'm still very tired so i'm gonna do yoga and then go to bed because damn this girl is exhausted but the book i've been reading is intuitive eating and i'm really enjoying it I'm taking my time. I haven't been reading too much. I'm only 94 pages in and I haven't been highlighting in it. I've just been tabbing it because I can't even remember what I told you, but my tabs came. So I got these ones and I got two packs because they were like on sale. So I've been using these sticky tabs and yeah, I'm really enjoying it. It talks a lot about diet and like all these, not trigger warnings, but all these like things that you do that kind of makes you be on the diet. And I'm like, oh my God, I do this like on consciously so yeah i'm on chapter eight challenge the food police and so far it's a great book i think after i finish it we'll see how i feel about it then i'll take out like the tabs and highlight my favorite parts and keep the tabs in the parts that i really really think i'm gonna need to go back to because if i put this many tabs into the whole book i won't have any left so yeah i haven't picked up a game of thrones it's on my bed but it's been on my desk but i haven't been in the mood so we'll see i think i'm just gonna stick with intuitive eating for this week tomorrow it's saturday i'm gonna try and film a video my parents are gonna be gone so i'm gonna try and film that video upload it no edited and upload it on 
Sunday and then read as much as I can. Maybe even try and finish that book and then pick up something new on Sunday. Yay! But I also picked up, I bought The Chase by L. Kennedy, which is kind of like a new, the first book in the Briar Boys series. I can't remember what it's called, but it's basically like a spin-off series of the Off Campus series. And I've seen like, not mixed reviews, but like some people were a tad bit disappointed, but it, but it follows Summer who is Dean's sister, who is the main guy we follow in the score, the third book in the Off Campus series. I'm so excited because the male love interest is great. Why did I forget his name? I don't know. But anyway, I'm gonna go and do some of the stuff, so I'll update you later. guys it's saturday i think around like six seven i don't even know but yeah today has been actually a productive day i finally wrote all the reviews so i posted one today baptism of fire by andrew sapkowski and then tomorrow to all the boys i've loved before by jenny Han is a reread so yeah i did some yoga i took some more photos for bookstagram and spoiler alert there'll be a lot of to all the boys i've loved before on my instagram bookstagram because super excited about the movie and it's gonna be basically a countdown for friday when the movie comes out so i'm so excited but look at the weather today like i'm not complaining but it's super gray outside so i've been in a weird mood but i'm gonna try as i finish pretty much everything i wanted to do to try and read some more of intuitive eating i ended up reading two chapters this morning and then i took a nap because i was really tired <laughs> but yeah i have like halfway to go but i told myself as tomorrow is sunday i think i'm gonna give myself a whole day to read a new adult book because that will take me like a day to read so yeah but also yesterday before I went to bed instead of reading I ended up resorting or reorganizing my bookshelf so I'll show you what it looks like so this is what it looks like from far away yes I did the rainbow bookshelves and this is what it used to look like a couple years back but I had white and grays and blacks at the bottom but I thought I would do the rainbow see the colors at the bottom because these are the shelves that you see when I sit there and film so i'm so happy how it turned out look how many white books i have and then we have more white books there's one missing because that's intuitive eating and we've got like a little bit of creams grays and then so many black books wowza and then i put my mug that's heat changing my Geralt bookish candle i left my harry potter shelves alone and i didn't do anything to these shelves but look at that so it goes like from pink to reds to oranges to yellows to browns to kind of like greens then like turquoise blues like all different types of hues of blues <laughs> I don't even know, even know what I'm saying and then we have some purples and then I don't know what I'm gonna do about this because you will definitely be able to see this in my videos but maybe I don't mind I don't have any books facing outwards because I have a Pinterest board of bookshelves and I have some of my photos from way back when I think in 2015 that I took of my bookshelves and I really liked how the books looked like this and they I didn't have any facing outwards so that's why I did that but I I love it. Literally, I'm obsessed with my bookshelves right now. It took me like an hour to do yesterday, but proud I did it. So guys, it is Sunday, so technically the last day of the weekly reading vlog. And instead of doing what I said I was gonna do yesterday, so if I wasn't gonna finish intuitive eating yesterday, I would give it a break today. I ended up finishing this off today, and I'm so glad I did because it has become one of my favorite non-fictions I've read this year i think it might actually make it onto my top books of 2018 as you can see so many tabs i ended up using up like let's see i have two of these
these I ended up using one of them already and I ended up getting on this one so after I do my review on my blog I am going to go through this and take out the tabs and highlight some of the sections but I'm gonna keep the tabs in intersections I think I would want to go back to if I ever have the urge to reread this because this book is amazing for people that have body image issues struggled with yo-yo dieting and binge eating and just feeling crap about themselves because they ate a bad food I really love this book because it's I was scared that it was gonna portray like vegetarianism and veganism in a negative light because if you think about it it is a form of restriction but I love that they mentioned it really briefly just like one section that said if you are vegetarian for the right reasons then it's fine but if you're doing it to lose weight then it's not fine because they even mentioned that people that do it for their weight or weight loss or as a diet not as a lifestyle or ethical choice then they will crave meat whereas I have been vegan for over three years and I have never ever craved meat even when I smell it or see other people eating it at a restaurant I have never craved it so I'm so happy about that and it just has so many helpful tips about how to become an intuitive eater which I feel like since reading this book I've been applying it and it is really helping. I am I love this book and it just makes me feel so much better and it was so crazy like when I was reading like little like whenever they mentioned like what you do and how it makes you like a dieter and I was like that's me literally this 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 applies to me it was just crazy I feel like all my friends that have problems with their body and like loving themselves and like dieting should read this which I have like two friends in mind so hopefully they pick this book up and I can even lend them my copy because this book is just I, I just love it I think I want to try and write the review today and then post it tomorrow because I've already I think posted today to all the boys I've loved before review and as how many books have I read already oh this is my third book this month I think I'm gonna pick up a reread next but I don't know which one so I mentioned a Game of Thrones I have all the books on my TBR here I took them out of my bookshelf because I was just looking at what I want to read next so we have a Game of Thrones still haven't started it but I'm excited. Tower of the Swallow is a TBR book but I want to reread a book after reading Intuitive Eating which was on my TBR but I feel like I'm going to pick up The Beauty of Darkness by Mary A. Pearson because I want to finish rereading this series. So yeah I'm super excited about this book. It looks huge as I always mention but it's only under 700 pages so I'm so excited and yeah I definitely want to read it before the movie comes out for to all the boys I've loved before just because but I don't know like after re finishing reading intuitive eating and as I'm reading it I've just grown to kind of like love my body even though it's not like perfect you know like sometimes I do wake up and it's just like ugh but today I just feel great and I'm so glad I let myself sleep in today because I've been waking up at like 5am going for walks but I ended up going to Tesco which helped me like do already 8,000 steps so I have like 2,000 more but I like having that goal because it makes me feel great not because I want to lose weight oh so, yeah I think I'm gonna watch some YouTube drink my coffee and I've been loving coffee with almond milk like lattes they're just so tasty and I've also been wearing my heart necklace that I got for my 18th birthday life is just great ever since reading that book it made me so happy so yeah I'm gonna watch some YouTube drink coffee do some journaling and yeah see you if I decide to pick up anything else and I'll probably wrap up this week's reading vlog later on today probably in a couple hours
guys, it's just before 9.30 and I'm getting ready for bed, so I thought I would summarise my reading for you all. So, the first book I ended up finishing is To All The Boys I've Loved Before by Jenny Han, which was a reread. As you can see, I tabbed the hell out of it. I still really enjoyed it, or should I say loved it? I gave it 5 out of 5 stars. Of course, check out the reviews to all the books I mentioned that I finished down below. Then, I finished Intuitive Eating, which I ended up giving also 5 out of 5 stars to. So, To All The Boys I've Loved Before was a reread, and this one was a new read. So, this is off my TBR now. Yay! And then, after finishing Intuitive Eating, I started this naked book, which is The Beauty of Darkness by Mary A. Pearson. So, this is the finale. It's quite a big finale to The Remnant Chronicles. So, the first book being The Kiss of Deception. Then, we have The Heart of Betrayal. And currently, I'm on chapter 7, page 36. So, not far in at all, but I ended up watching a lot of Victorious and then some Marlin because season 2 is coming out soon. Yay. But I hope you guys enjoyed this week's reading vlog. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoy my reading vlogs and don't forget to subscribe. I think I'm going to start saying that just to see if it makes a difference. But yeah, I'm going to be doing a 25 facts about me tag to celebrate reaching 1000 subscribers. So thank you guys for helping me reach 1000 subscribers. Hopefully I'll film that video next week we'll see but i'm also super excited because i really want to film a reactions video to the to all the boys i've loved for movie so that's gonna be a fun video but see you in my next one bye guys